Welcome to the Data Facet for SharePoint installation tutorial. Today we're going to install and configure Data Facet for SharePoint 2010 Standard Edition. We're going to cover the pre-installation checklist, installing the Data Facet software, validating the installation, configuring a document library for auto-tagging, and creating a Data Facet search center. First, let's go over the pre-install checklist. You can install DataFacet on either the Standard or the Enterprise Edition of SharePoint. If you are evaluating DataFacet, we recommend that you install on the standalone SharePoint 2010 Standard Edition instance on a dedicated virtual machine. Make sure that you have a running SharePoint instance that is ready for DataFacet. To do this, visit the Central Administration Server and log in with your administrator username and password. You don't have to change anything here, but we will verify that the Manage Metadata Service and Search Service application is up and running. From the Central Administration homepage, click the Manage Service Applications link under the Application Management section. Look for the Manage Metadata Service and click on it. You should see this page. If you do, it means that you have access to the Managed Metadata Service, which is required by DataFacet. Next, go back to the Central Administration homepage, visit the Manage Service Applications link, and click on the Search Service application. You should see a page that looks like this. If both of these service applications are up and running, we are ready to start installing. Finally, you need a copy of the latest DataFacet installer. Contact us at datafacet.com for instructions on getting the latest version. Installing DataFacet. Find your DataFacet installer, right-click on its icon, and pick Run as Administrator. Click Accept to accept the terms of the license agreement. You won't see this dialog box when installing on a standalone system, since it is only displayed when installing on a farm. If you do see this, both boxes should be checked, and you should select the application server that will host DataFacet. See the DataFacet Administrator Guide for detailed instructions about deploying to a SharePoint farm. This dialog box is asking you for a user who will be the owner of the application pool that will be running DataFacet. If everything goes well, you will see this dialog box. If something failed, contact DataFacet Technical Support. Configuring DataFacet. Reopen Central Administration. Click on Manage Service Applications. You should now see the DataFacet service application. Click on it to visit the Manage Taxonomies page. DataFacet ships with a small general business taxonomy. This taxonomy lets you get started immediately. Click on the DataFacet General Business SCOS link. This will open up the Taxonomy Manager. As you can see, everything seems to be working okay. Next, let's activate DataFacet on a team site. This particular implementation of SharePoint already had a default team site configured on port 80. We will activate DataFacet for this team site. Go to the Site Settings page and click on Site Collection Features under the Site Collection Administration section of the page. Notice that DataFacet has two features that you can activate. They control whether the DataFacet annotator will automatically tag documents when they are updated in a document library. Go ahead and activate both features. Now we are going to verify the DataFacet automatic tagging setting and enable the Enterprise Metadata and Keywords setting. Click on the Enterprise Metadata and Keywords Settings link under the Permissions and Management section. Click the checkbox to enable the Enterprise Keywords column. Most people leave the Metadata Publishing option unchecked. Now let's check to make sure that DataFacet automatic tagging is enabled for this document library. When we enabled the DataFacet features, this checkbox was automatically enabled for all document libraries in this site collection. Finally, let's add the Manage Metadata column to the Document Library Schema. Click on the Shared Documents folder, 
Next, click on the Library tab under the Library Tools heading in the toolbar. Click on Modify View. Click to enable the Enterprise Keywords column. Now it's time to test the auto tagging feature of DataFacet. I've downloaded a small set of business glossary documents that are sure to contain terms from the general business taxonomy. Let's add a document to SharePoint with the Add Document link. Pick a document from the desktop. And there it is. The Enterprise Taxonomy field is populated with taxonomy terms automatically. Configuring the Search Center. Now that we've validated that the auto-tagging is up and running, it's time to set up a Search Center. The DataFacet installer creates a new site template called Basic DataFacet Search Center that is pre-configured with the DataFacet Taxonomy Refiner component as well as the standard SharePoint search components. Let's go to the Site Actions and create a site. Notice the Data Facet section. Click on that and pick Basic Data Facet Search Center. Give the site a title and a URL name. And now you have a full Data Facet Search Center. By default, the SharePoint Search Service application should already be configured to perform an incremental crawl every 20 minutes. We're not going to wait for that. Let's force a full crawl. Open your SharePoint Administration Server, Manage Service Applications, and click on the Search Service Application link. Click on the Content Sources link under the Crawling section of the left column. There are a couple of ways to do this, but let's click on the local SharePoint Search Content Source. Scroll down to the bottom and check Start Full Crawl of this content source and click OK. If you have a small set of documents like in this tutorial, indexing will take just a few minutes. After the crawling is finished, go back to the DataFacet Search Center. Since we have business documents, let's enter the word accounting and see what happens. And there we are. On the left, we see the general business taxonomy refiner complete with hit counts. You use this search page very much like standard SharePoint search, only now you have the power of taxonomies for better search and better relevance. As you can see, it is easy to install DataFacet on a standalone SharePoint instance. It is likely that your production system is quite a bit more complex than this, so please contact us at datafacet.com support when you are ready to deploy to a production environment. We're happy to provide you with the best practices based on your unique farm topology and application requirements. Thanks for watching and good luck.